Make me over your head, I'm ahead of my time My future, you know I'm trading my prime Cause I only make classics, now what that take time And fall under pressure, what that make diamonds What's up fam, welcome back to my channel If you are new, hello, my name is Natalie And this is my channel, Music to Makeup My intuition is telling me there'll be better days So today's video, my favorite type of video, my favorites video, I, I swear like I'm forgetting something and I know as soon as I'm done filming I'm going to remember what it is or like when I'm doing my makeup the next time I'm like oh this is what it was. But that is besides the point. So today I have mostly makeup, I have one one, two non-makeup items, but the majority of it is makeup. And this was a good month. Oh my gosh, I don't know why I buy bodysuits because number one, they're like always too short for me because not only am I tall, I'm 5'10", but I have like a long torso. So I have like a permanent wedgie. And then if I try to fix it, I just end up unstapping the freaking thing. I'm like, why? But it's so cute. I had to try. I'll stretch her out. <laughs> All right, guys, if you would like to see what my monthly favorite products are for the month of September, then keep on watching. And if you do like these types of videos, let me know by giving them a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And let's get into it. Oh, what did um, I Dream and Jeannie do? Ping. Oh my gosh, I must have start doing that. Don't hate me, because I'm really going to start doing that. It's these press-on nails. I have two different kinds that I am currently obsessed with. All right, so the first ones, oh my god. These are the most gorgeous nails. I have, like, press-on nails that I've ever seen. Like, I know you can get this done, like, if you go and spend a shitload of money on a manicure, but look how gorgeous they are with the like rhinestones. Oh my gosh, and the glue that's in there is like the only glue that's come with a fake nail set that like actually works well and doesn't end exploding all over me. So, and these were only like six dollars. I was like, you, are, you gotta be kidding me. They have other colors too. They have a like teal green one. They have black. They have a pink. And then this other one, oh my gosh, these are so adorable. It is by Kiss and they are salon color. It's like a geometric, it's like carved out geometric design in like a metallic, like a gunmetal like silver oh my gosh these are I'm like saving these for a special occasion because these are freaking bomb and I think these were like $5.99 or $6 too but they weren't in the regular nail department they were back by the Halloween stuff okay moving on to make I'm gonna start out with these I know I've only had them for a few days but feel me on this all right I've been waiting like all month for them. Just like, even though when I, I knew when they were gonna be released, I would still like stalk the Sephora website and just look at them and be like, ooh, these are so pretty. <laughs> but it is the Huda Beauty Obsessions Palette, the Precious Stones Collection. And I got Ruby, which I did a tutorial on. And then, Topaz Obsessions, oh, which I have worn off camera, but I am going to do a tutorial with it because this, oh my gosh, this is going to be like my staple palette for fall, I guarantee it. So I just wanted to include those real quick. I know you guys are probably sick of hearing me talking about that. <sighs> All right, moving on. So the next product I would like to mention is this Makeup Revolution liquid highlighter in champagne so I 
like like always always put the custom cover FX drops in my foundation and I got these at Ulta I'm like I'm gonna try them out and you know see if they're comparable to the custom FX drops and they honestly are like they're bomb like look at that I have I've noticed I've been reaching for this a lot to mix in with my foundation and you know it gives the same effect it really does and I love this beautiful champagne color and I think it was like nine bucks so if you're looking for a dupe for the custom cover FX drops I would definitely check these out <clears throat> the next product I would like to talk about is this Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. I love that name. <laughs> Longwear Liquid Eyeliner. Oh my god, this eyeliner. It is probably the best like liquid eyeliner I've ever used. Even more like than the Kat Von D. Like I love I love this tip. And it's not so thin of a line, but it's not, it's like the perfect sized line as well. I am obsessed with this. If you're looking for a really, really good liquid black eyeliner, I definitely recommend this. Okay, the next product I would like to talk about, oh my gosh, so in love with these. It is the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow. And this is in foil. <sighs> just take a moment of silence for that and the consistency is so luxurious to the touch it feels like it's a hybrid of like gel and mousse and it's so so soft and there's hardly any fallout and it just goes on so beautifully in this color I die for this is like my favorite type of gold like a warm toned oh I have just I've been obsessed with this I'll just put this on the lid and then throw like some brown eyeshadow in my crease and I know believe it or not guys I couldn't even believe it myself because I'm usually like extra I'll go to the grocery store looking like this like no joke <laughs> and but there's been, you know, things I've had to do where I just didn't have time, and that's all I would do, and it looks so gorgeous. I was like, wow, like, I can't believe how beautiful this looks and how easy it was. So, I think I'm going to be doing a video um, with a look like that coming up because I, I know I am extra, but I, I am aware that there are other people on the planet that exist who do not like such dramatic looks so I am going to do like a more natural look is this Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte's genius magic powder under eye and face that doesn't sound like it should go together Charlotte's genius magic powder it just doesn't but it's a bomb ass powder. It is so beautiful and if you've tried the Laura Mercier translucent glow powder I'm gonna compare it to that. So this is a lot more hydrating. This it like actually had some ingredient in it that's a, supposed to be a moisturizer for the skin. I was like holy shit bougie ass powder. But and this is more of a, I got mine in light, so this is more of a pink toned glow. I mean it doesn't look pink, just the undertone you can see is pinkish. And, but it gives off, it's matte as well. So it gives off such a beautiful like gleam, but it's not shiny or glittery. And the Laura Mercier Glow Powder has more of a gold like coloring to it. So this is more pinkish. This is the Laura Mercier is going to go with a lot more skin tones because of the like gold undertone. But you know, the pink undertone is only for the color I got, which is pale. I mean, they could be different for the other shades. But this is going to be good if you're really fair. Oh my god, girl. I 
don't know why I waited so, so long to buy this product because I have wanted it for a while and it was actually on sale. I broke down and I got a Makeup Forever Starlet Powder. I didn't, I purposely didn't put anything on my inner corner so I could show you. It's, oh my gosh. <gasps> I found one of the products that I forgot. It was behind there. I brought it down here in preparation for this video. Woo! I knew I forgot something. Okay, but in the meantime, this, oh my God. I wanna like bathe in this. Why is it so small? Can you see that? Oh. oh my god, it's stunning. Oh, I don't have it on as a regular highlight today, but I did the other day. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, moving on to the product that I almost forgot. I know, it's pathetic. I have a full size one, but I have it in my vanity upstairs because I have to have this product now. It's called the NYX like Wonder Pendle. What what word was that? Pendle. <sighs> Wonder pencil in light. So I actually had this product for like a long time and I had it in my eyeliner drawer and I just found it and I was like, hmm, I'm gonna try and use this for shaping up my brows because I was using like a cream concealer with a brush, but then, you know, I would try and carve my brows out and then I would go back in the concealer and I would always end up getting like brow product on the brush and then it would be going back into the concealer and like muddying up the concealer. So I'm like, that's not working. And then a lot of the like brow pencils that are meant for that are so thick that it like screws everything up. But this is perfect. And then if you, you know, when I get brow product on it, all I have to do is wipe it off or sharpen it. And it just gives the most precise lines and perfect brows. I will probably use this forever because I don't see how anything could be more perfect than this. It is <clears throat> this Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Pod. You gotta fight. Oh, you're right. So I got this in my Sephora play. Oh, UPS is playing with me. That's another subject, sorry. I got this in my Sephora play and I have been obsessed with it. It is such a beautiful color and it goes with so many different looks. Like, it's just a beautiful, like, light, like, nudish peach, I would say. I don't know if you can see it. But, oh, I can't put this down. Like, I wish they would have given me a full size one. Okay, so the last product I want to talk about is kind of a book, but not really. It's kind of a book, kind of a journal. So, I have always wanted to write a book. I have a lot of things I want to talk about, a lot of crazy stories, and a lot of um, advice that I've learned from personal experience. And I've just always loved writing, and I think I've been a good writer. So I started like kind of coming up with a book concept and like trying to make an outline and some of the lessons I wanted to talk about and I'm so I'm trying to think of stories you know to go with those lessons and I'm like being I'm like so blocked like a lot of those stories and those memories I have repressed because they were so painful so I wanted to find a way to be able to get those things out of me. Um, so I got this on Amazon and it's called All About Me and it says The Story of Your Life, a unique question and answer book by Philip Keel. 
So on the back it says, is there someone special you like to open up to? Do you want to know yourself better? With questions about wishes and fears, memories and beliefs, secrets and dreams, all about me will reveal everything everyone ever wanted to know about you but never thought or dared to ask. Fill it in, leave it blank, or ask and answer questions out loud. This is the perfect gift for your friends, your family, your loved one, and you. So yeah, like, like it said, this is an awesome way to get to know yourself better. Or, you know, if you have children, you can fill this out and then, you know, leave this to them one day so they can connect with you and feel like they really got to know you. I've just gotten started, so I'm still on, like, the basic questions, like, your favorites, um, morals, how you feel about God in the world, your opinions on it, the first step towards resolving poverty, the first step towards resolving racism, a friend who has betrayed you. So yeah, I thought this was really awesome. Alright guys, well, that is everything that I have to talk about. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel, and I will see you guys later. Bye!